Yeah, well, these days, the Central Girls Basketball Program doesn't really need help from just about anybody. Clearly, one of the best teams in the state in Class 2A, and there are no signs of them slowing down. But support is exactly what the Lady Chargers have got this season, and it comes from maybe an unexpected source. Check it out. I tell people all the time I, I wear different hats, but there's only one gospel. When John Beck isn't leading worship at Tabernacle Baptist Church, you'll probably find he and his wife Sharon cheering on the Central Lady Chargers. In his words, a team they adopted at the end of last season with the goal of making one thing clear. Your community is proud of you. Listen, this is bigger than, you know, where we stand, our, our, our skin color, you know, our race. We can forget all that, the noise of the world, and just come together. Attending games, prepping meals for the road, and pregame prayer are all part of what makes this connection special. So special, in fact, that the team even recently joined Pastor Beck for church at Tabernacle. Everyone is latching on, and it's kind of giving everybody a, a better understanding of their own personal relationship with God and how we can kind of bring it together as a team. There you go. Good job. And one, and one. At this point, John and Sharon might as well be a part of C's house, even if it takes a little getting used to a pastor in the crowd. We're like good Baptists. We all have assigned seating at the games, and I have my spot, and everybody else has their spot. There's some tough teams out of Atlanta. Always is. But <laughs> yeah, they, they play hard. We have a lot of fun because being a pastor, sometimes people want to be on their best behavior. When the game gets a little tense, you can see some mamas and daddies are really trying hard. I think it just breathe the sense of kind of hope and community into uh, to our church life. So we are, we're blessed and thankful for the relationship. But that goes both ways because this right here might just be Central's new secret weapon, as if they needed one. When situations get tough, you'll have that one person, that one or two, three people, that's going to always go out there and go uplift the other teammate and maybe say something positive that they learn. So, so at the end of the day, the more of us that, that knows it, when that other person forgets it in that moment, you always have that sister that pull you back up and can remind you of the, of the message and the things that we've been learning. And for a team that's lost just once this year, something else too. Most importantly, it has taught us to not only pray when things are bad, but also when things are going good for us. For the Lady Chargers, things are going real good. Grabbing their 20th win of the year on Saturday night with every intention of going much further than last year's Elite Eight. We're hope we can ride this out this year and wind up at the Coliseum, you know, cutting down some nets.